10 apps every real estate investor needs. Hi, I'm Phil Pustiovsky with FreedomMentor.com. I'm a full-time real estate investor, real estate mentor and coach to many of the most successful real estate investors all across North America, best-selling author of two books. The first one, How to Be a Real Estate Investor, and my newest one, Real Estate Investing Gone Bad. Both are mandatory reads for anybody interested or currently in real estate investing. Also, this is the number one YouTube channel for real estate investing based on views, subscribers, and everything in between. So thank you so much for watching. The 10 apps every real estate investor needs. These are 10 apps that I personally use and they can make your life more productive. They can help you make better decisions. Uh, they can help make things a little bit more convenient. But you know what it's not going to do? These are not going to make you a billionaire overnight. In fact, technology in and of itself is not going to make you rich or not. So if you feel like technology is what's holding you back, you're wrong. Knowing how to do this business is what might be holding you back. These tools, these apps can make things a little bit more efficient, but they're not, they're not going to make or break you. And so in this video, I'm going to take you inside of uh, that screen on my phone that has the apps that I absolutely must have on me at all times to be a productive real estate investor these days. Because otherwise, I have to go back to my computer. And so often, I'm out and about. I'm with family. I'm with my kids. And so uh, sometimes, I have to be able to make intelligent real estate investing decisions from my phone. And these apps allow me to do that. So let's take a look. Google Maps has several different features that make it helpful. The first is obvious that it allows you to navigate to the property and know where it is, but also um, it shows you, and you can kind of tell sort of on the video, it gives you property lines. Now these aren't going to be surveyor property lines, but they give you a good indication as to where the property lines might be. That can be helpful. It also, if you want to, you can change to satellite view of being able to see kind of in relation to other properties what the terrain is like. I love how some properties actually have this right here, which is street view, which is amazing. I remember when I first got started in real estate, I had a dream that one day I could have like a little uh, radio controlled bee or bug that could fly around and show me properties without me having to get out of my seat. That was a dream 15 years ago. Today we have it, and it's free. It's called Google Streets. It's amazing. Okay, so um, it helps you with that as well. And um, this, you know, the other obvious things, such as if you're trying to get there, it shows you what traffic is. That can come in real handy when you're trying to move around and look at the traffic. Um, it can tell you things like if that property is in an area where there is a kind of in a rural area, so it's not really showing as much, but. Um, that can be helpful too if you're picking up properties you want to make sure you're not in a high traffic area if it's a residential because it's a lot harder to sell those so google maps says oh there it goes uh, google maps has several different features and uh, i end up using it all the time that's in um, contrast to the other mapping software that the iphone comes with which is not nearly as effective so it's google maps that gives you all these incredible features google voice is wonderful because it allows you to have both call and text features. And what's so nice about that is you don't have to go out and buy a new phone line. You don't have to go out and um, pay for one of those services like Ring Central or Grasshopper. You could just use Google Voice and it can be your quote business phone. It's wonderful. And oftentimes sellers are texting a lot these days. And so this allows you to text, but it also doesn't um, you know, give the homeowners your actual personal cell phone number. So Google Voice can come in handy right there, and I use that all the time. My MLS system has an app to access all the MLS records, which is absolutely fantastic because having direct MLS access makes such a big difference in your ability to see what's really going on, both closed, active, withdrawn, expired. And you may not have this feature, but your MLS probably has a mobile version. And I'll get more into this concept of uh, mobile uh, web with, the, with Puffin. But you can actually set up a uh, shortcut on your uh, home screen that would be a link to the mobile version of your local MLS. So that's what, the, that's what this is for right here, this Flex MLS for me. And uh, for you, you may not have an actual app, but you still probably have a mobile version. Realtor.com. This is really helpful for looking at actives and looking at actives in such a way where it's really easy to view. 
So when you do a, that's a recent search, but let's say you're going the for sale search. Well, it's not giving me the active location. It's going to show me all of the active ones for sale on a map. Really easy to navigate through and see what's going on. Now, one of the things that's important to recognize is that Realtor.com has the most accurate information. Zillow, through court cases recently, has lost their feed for direct access to um, to the, the most up-to-date information when properties become available for sale. So Realtor.com is much better for, for, for sale information. That's active sales. But that's nice to know. It's nice to know what's going on with the property in um, as far as the competition. And that's what actives can be helpful for. And Realtor.com can be a nice, easy way to, to, uh, to access that. Zillow Rentals. This is another amazing tool that's just recently uh, become available as far as uh, real estate investing is concerned. And it does this. It allows you to see what other properties are renting for. That is a huge, huge deal because for the longest time, it's been really hard to figure out what properties rent for. It's always been pretty easy to figure out what they're selling for. But this gives you the ability to quickly scan to see what things are renting for. Now that doesn't mean it's the end all be all exact number of what your property might rent for, but it'll give you a good ballpark. And a lot of these are property manager managed. So the data is pretty accurate on this stuff. And usually the property managers are the ones that price them correctly because they're trying to rent them. Back in the old days, what I used to have to do was call up a bunch of property managers and ask them what they'd rent it for. These days, I don't have to call anybody. I just jump on this Zillow Rentals app. And Zillow Rentals, uh, in, in relation to, to Realtor.com, uh, that app, this one is actually far better for rentals. Realist is the tax version of the property information. Now, you may not have a Realist you have access to. There's a, um, a service for the general public called RealQuest. It's the same thing, same company, CoreLogic. And if you don't have that, you can always go to a um, you can go to a website that provides this, like I've shown in other videos, called NETR Online, and you can find your tax records uh, from here for free because it's public records. The difference is uh, the the data on uh, on Realist is easier to view for me. But this is the tax record, so it's what the government, the local taxing authority, thinks of the property is, whether it's square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, all that data. So it comes in real handy. So right there between the MLS comps, active comps, which I can get from the MLS, but this is a nice, easy way to view it on Realtor.com. If I've got a rental, I want to see what the rental rates are here, and then this is what the uh, taxing authority has as far as their information. That can give me a tremendous amount of data on a property and help me make better decisions much faster. Jot Not Pro is a wonderful app. What it does is it allows you to take a picture of anything that's document-wise, and it'll convert that document into a PDF that you can email. So what this allows you to do is take all these documents that the seller has, whether it's their deed or their mortgage information, uh, whether it's a document you just had signed, and it allows you to digitize it. It makes a big difference. It's fast and easy. And um, the only time it's not fast and easy is if you're talking about you know, 30 or 40 or 50 pages. Then you have to take a picture with each individual page, and it can be a little bit long and drawn out. But for the majority of real estate investors, it can really come in handy to be able to, uh, to just take a, a quick few pictures and have a document digitized that you can email to a title company or otherwise. Puffin is a mobile web browser. So it makes browsing the web a lot easier on a mobile device. I'm going to give you, let me so hope you can see this. When you press something, see it makes a little, well, it makes a little circle. And so it, it makes it so easy to know what you're touching. It seems to respond really quickly um, to uh, any, any website, especially public records where it's government-based and it's, it's really clunky otherwise on a, on a mobile device. So I end up using Puffin a lot as my, my web browser when I'm trying to browse the, uh, the government websites, whether it's for, for property information or, or things of that like, um, recorder's office, that kind of data. The YouTube Capture app is an app that is used to be able to, to not only shoot a video, but you can shoot several videos. And what it will do is this. You can, you can shoot those different shots, and then you can uh, combine them together all in one uh, video if you'd like to, and it makes a huge difference. I just uploaded or I just updated this app, so that's why it's showing like this. But um, 
This app is great if you want to make videos of your properties. And you don't have to have a bunch of video editing software, a fancy um, video camera, or anything of the like. You can just do it all right there with the YouTube Capture app. It's fantastic. Lastly, we have Evernote. Evernote has been a game changer for me. There's the notes on this actual video right there. Um, Evernote is where I keep track of everything. When I go look at properties, I take notes of everything that needs to be done to it. I make notes about everything I see. I take pictures, include those pictures in there. There's so much you can do with Evernote. Uh, I have entire videos on the subject of being more productive in real estate. And uh, without Evernote, I, I wouldn't be nearly as productive as I am. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you picked up some tips that might allow you to be more productive, help your business be a little bit more convenient so you can be more mobile while you're making decisions on the fly. And if you have any questions or you have any thoughts or ideas on some additional apps that might need to be considered, uh, go ahead and put those just below here in the video. And I try to carve out time out of my schedule uh, to comment and to correspond with those that interact with this YouTube channel. Really appreciate it. And if you want to take your business to an entirely new level, I strongly encourage you to watch as many of the videos I provide as possible because I try to provide signal, the truth, amidst all the noise and garbage out there that is not going to help you be more productive. My videos, my trainings will. Also grab a copy of both of my books, this one here, How to Be a Real Estate Investor, as well as Real Estate Investing Gone Bad. This one is more for the beginners, this is more for the advanced. And please, please, please subscribe to this channel if you want to be the first to know about these great video trains I provide. My subscribers get them first. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.